I can guarantee you, this is nothing to worry about. You show symptoms of influenza. We'll run your bloods and see what pops up. However, I don't think this is anything for you to worry about, Mr. Carter. Telephones go down and suddenly everybody starts to panic. They think the next plague is upon them and the world is coming to an end. Dangerous game to play with, folks. Starts nothing but hysteria. I've run all the tests and this isn't like anything I've seen before. We gotta get the word out to the CDC. Go ahead and look over the results. You got to guarantee this before we make a move. Otherwise, we're facing nothing but national embarrassment. We can't just sit back and do nothing. This is our priority now. Sir, are you okay? What's come over you? Security! God help us all. How can you even explain how you exist? This can't be happening. A little farther. Keep going and we'll make it. I ain't got nothing against y'all trying to save him. Just he's bit. And we all know what happens when that occurs. There ain't no hope for him. I'm gonna do my best. I'd rather put this boy down before I see him turn. Nobody deserves that, to be turned into rotten flesh alive and moving. Hold your axe. I know this virus isn't transferred by blood, so we might still have some time. How long did you say that he was bitten? Two hours ago, tops. Don't let him die, Doc. I ain't making no promises, son. The arm's gone and he's sewn up. It was messy and goddamn was it not up to hygiene, but it's done and he's stabilized. I'd watch over him if I were you. He doesn't pass in six days, he should make it. I'll keep checking up on him to watch for infection. We don't know if you're crazy or a miracle worker, but if what you say is true, I owe you one, Doc. I'm just doing my job. Just because everything's gone to shit don't mean I have to join in.
I'd put a 50-50 chance the kid sees the end of the week, but we gave him the best chance he's got to make it. He passes and rises up again. You're putting him down just for what you put him through if you fail. Doc, I never thanked you for saving my life. If it weren't for you, I'd be shambling around the city by now. Don't mention it. Now more than ever do we need every man, woman, and child to progress into the future. What we do now will be paid forward in the days to come tenfold. However your arm, it's called phantom pain, and it'll never go away, but you'll learn to deal with it. I need more men for patrols. Anybody who is able-bodied and willing gets snapped up by the armed forces and all I'm left with are scraps. I can't enforce the law on desperate, hungry people with the few men that I have. We should have had our agriculture program up and running by now. Now we're desperate, hungry, and relying on any scraps that the scavs manage to find as they jump from town to town. We won't make it through the next winter if we don't start putting that as our priority. Why is it still such a task for people to join our settlement? We have camps of people in the hundreds outside our walls who are willing and waiting to become part of our workforce. We deny them entry until they earn their keep. Have we lost all compassion and humanity? We can all argue till we're blue in the face, but we need more penicillin. There's no getting around that. All it takes is one bad illness to hit this settlement, and half the population will be wiped out. Hours of our time blathering on and on, and for what? Our glorious leader and his subordinates can't even muster the energy to come speak to his anointed council. What have we accomplished in there when nobody is listening? 